You don't need to memorize your script to look natural on camera. All you need is a teleprompter and to know how to use it. In this video, I'll break down what teleprompters actually are, how they work, and five key things to know before you invest in one. Plus, I'll show you how to get a teleprompter you can use right on your laptop for free. A teleprompter is basically a scrolling screen that shows you your script while you're looking into the camera. You read your lines, keep eye contact, and sound smooth. Traditionally, it's a beam splitter glass that reflects mirrored text from a tablet or monitor. But today, a lot of creators use software. If you're filming on your webcam or just getting started, there's zero need to drop cash on hardware. Descript has a built-in teleprompter tool that scrolls your script right on screen as you record. It's free, it's intuitive, it works with your webcam, so you don't need extra equipment. And it's got a mirror mode if you already have a physical teleprompter. You can even adjust the font size and scroll speed to match your style. Links below if you wanna try it. So now let's talk script style. Do you need a word for word script or just loose talking points? Full scripts give you structure and precision, which is great for courses, tutorials, and launches, but it takes practice to sound natural while reading a word for word script. Bullet points let you be more spontaneous, good for vlogs, casual intros, or live style delivery. But they're not the best for when you need precise language or when someone else is editing and signing off on your script. My boss, Brandon, is a genius and a thought leader. Huh. Try both bullets and full scripts and see which feels best for you. And here's the real tip, rehearse either way, even if you wrote it. You want it in your body, not just on screen. Script placement makes or breaks your delivery. You wanna make your script narrow so your eyes aren't noticeably tracking back and forth. If you're using a webcam, keep your script window as close to your webcam as possible to keep your eyes near the lens. Set your scroll speed to match your natural delivery style or use a Bluetooth gadget to manually scroll off screen. This will all help to maintain the illusion that you're not reading. You're just looking into your viewer's eyes. Here's the big question. Should you buy a physical teleprompter? Well, if you're filming with a DSLR, doing long takes or running a production with multiple people, it might be worth it. Just know it's not plug and play. You'll probably need a few extra parts like an iPad to display your script and software that mirrors the text for the beam splitter glass. But if you're a solo creator filming on your laptop or phone, start with software. See if it fits your flow. No matter how you're reading, do your best to not sound like you're reading. Smile, pause, emphasize, <laughs> laugh if something's funny. Uh. Your audience wants connection, not perfection. If your first few takes feel stiff, retake them. Everyone improves with reps. So do you need a teleprompter? Not necessarily, but if you're fumbling your lines, losing your place, or just want a little confidence boost, it's worth a shot. Start simple with free software tools like Descript and see how it feels. You'll get smoother takes, better pacing, and way fewer deer in the headlights moments. Give it a try.